Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make an easy dozen of flour tortillas and don't skip ahead because I'm gonna be answering your frequently asked questions. For this recipe, you'll need all-purpose flour, salt, lard, and some lukewarm water. Add two and a half cups of flour, half a heaping teaspoon of salt, combine your salt and flour, Next, you're gonna add your room temperature lard. I like to squeeze to start dissolving the lard into the flour. Once you grab a handful and your dough sticks like this, that means that you're ready to add your water. Add one and a half cups of lukewarm water and start mixing your dough. I'm going to add one more tablespoon of water and when you hear that gushy sound that means that we've hydrated our flour enough to produce a very soft and stretchy dough and that's how you avoid getting a dry tortilla. And we're going to continue mixing our dough until we clean the bowl. And what I like to do is I like to give it a turn, a press like this, sometimes I squeeze to really get in there. And I act like my hands are a mixing machine, okay? That's what you wanna do. And after four to five minutes, you're gonna notice that when you squeeze into your dough, nothing really sticks to your hand. And that means that we're ready to roll our little tortilla balls. And give or take, you're gonna get anywhere between a dozen to 14 tortillas. And friends, it's better to have more than to have less. I'm gonna show you two ways to roll your tortillas. One, you can put both of them in your hand and roll them with the outer parts of your palms into a little circle, just like this. Nice, soft little balls. The other one you can do is put the ball in your hand, cup it, and do circular motions. And boom, done. Since I'm in high altitude, I notice that my tortillas get so soft that if I place them really close together like I would in a dry area, they kind of stick and I have to pull and they lose their shape a bit. So I'm just gonna space them out and place them here on my baking sheet, just like this. You're gonna take a little bit of lard in your hand and you're gonna warm it up. Mr. Miyagi style. And you're gonna press it gently over your tortilla balls. You can use your kitchen cloth or saran wrap to place over your baking sheet. Go ahead and let this set a minimum of 30 minutes. The longer the tortillas set here, even if it's two hours, the better stretch that you'll get. After you allow your tortillas to set, go ahead and dust your surface space with some flour. Take one of your tortilla balls and press it into some flour. I like to press the outer parts of the tortilla. That way we don't get the raw edges and also it gives us a smoother stretch. And what I like to do is I like to stretch it a few times into an oval shape. I flip it over and do the same. And some of you are getting square tortillas. Guess what, that is okay. You know why? Because this dough is so soft that even with your hands, you can start stretching it right here on your counter. And some of our tortillas look like the state of Texas and that's okay, That's okay. Florida, you're okay too. California, even better. <laughs> you see? Lightly dusted with flour and we have a round tortilla.
You gotta work with the heat, friends. You have to work with that heat and get your tortillas done just right. And boom, done. I'm going to need somebody very special to say, ah. Uh... Mm -mm -mm. So good. This is a good batch. It's an excellent batch. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice and soft. The salt's perfect. And they're hydrated. They're not crackly. They're not. Mm. Good job, sis. Thank you. My tip to you is have a lot of fun when you're making your tortillas. And friends, you ask me often, why are my tortillas so dry? It really depends on your climate. So if you are in an arid zone, then you're gonna have drier uh, flour and you're gonna need to add a little bit more water. But if you're in a humid area, then you're gonna have to adjust with a little bit more water. And you saw how I added one tablespoon at a time. And that's kind of how you can take it until you get your groove. The other one is, you guys always tell me that your tortillas are square, that they're not round, and guess what? That is okay, you are not a machine. You are allowed to have square tortillas, and once you feel comfortable with the dough and you become you know, a pro with your tortillas, you're gonna see that slowly they're all just gonna be round, but this recipe is super easy. I know a lot of you have asked, um, this recipe is too long for me to make, but the reason I made the previous tortillas is because that's how I was raised to make tortillas, but I hope that this easy recipe helps you guys out for the days when you just want quick tortillas, boom, done style, and I think that that's exactly what this recipe does for you. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you, and on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, adios.